What is going on, everybody? We're back for another GB Studio tutorial. This topic comes from one of my students. We were trying to figure out a way to make a double jump element in a game, and we found something with mapping a script to a button where we could do that, and then playing around with that a little bit more. Another student said, you know what? You can make a Flappy Bird type game with this element. And another student said, or like a Super Mario Brothers underwater level. And then we talked about how we really hadn't made any kind of level underwater with those elements. I thought, you know what? Let's apply what we learned in class that day for a little tutorial and kind of show you how this works. Uh, this level here is obviously inspired by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Nintendo game where you had to navigate through the water and not touch the vines. It's kind of a stressful game if you've never played it. Uh, kind of a hard level, kind of a famous one through gaming history. I did create this level already and I did put in a little uh, Ninja Turtle sprite that I'm going to use for this. The first way that you could do this, and I'm not going to get so much into how, you know, we could add our triggers to all of these vines, you know, and then do that. Uh, but we've already talked about triggers and, and things like that. This is just more for the moving concept of this. If you go up here to type, obviously you could go top down 2D and then you could just navigate your character through uh, the through the level kind of just with the direction pad. It wouldn't be that fun, wouldn't be that exciting, but that's one way you could do that. Uh, another thing that we could do is if we go to the shoot 'em up and again use the triggers around the edge. But shoot 'em up would work nice as the screen moves automatically for you and you know provides a little bit more challenge uh, to do that. So that's another type of thing you could do. Uh, the other element that I thought would be the most fun would be what got us on this topic in the first place, which is the mapping a script to a button. We'll go up here to type and we can switch um this type to platformer now if we go here and we add an event and i search for a button and attach script to button i'm going to select this letter a and override the default button actions which would be jump and here where it says on press we have our player bounce, which I've used this before um, on a platform. When we land on an enemy, you, you bounce off of it. But I never really had thought of using that as a way to double jump uh, until we figured this before. And then I certainly never really thought of using it as a way to swim. We'll go in here and click save. And I'll run this. And we obviously fall there. but. When you move and you press the button, you can do that as many times as you want. Now, he falls down pretty fast. And this is something that a lot of people don't know about because it is hidden in kind of a weird place up here. But if we go up here to the drop down menu and we go to settings, here you can change certain aspects of all the different engines uh, in GB Studio. That means I could go down here and gravity while jumping is by default is 512. You switch that to 200 and then maximum fall velocity. Maybe I'll switch that to 200 also. Click file and save. And I can go in here and try it again. And now you notice he's falling a lot slower then you have your game in there also with that you'd probably want to change maybe your you know your run velocity or walk velocity and jump velocity and those kind of things just to slow your character down but all those are right here in this engine platformer. 
and that's kind of what we have uh, with the player bounce. You can go in here and you can adjust if you want the the turtle to go at a lower amount when you press the jump button, or if you want medium or high. That's something you can obviously play around with. But yeah, that's kind of all I have for this tutorial here. It's it's short, but kind of a fun element, and it's something I just had never really thought about using before. Maybe everyone else has, but I thought. This is something I hadn't done before, so let's share it on here and see what you think. Have any of you out there uh, incorporated this element into your games? Do you have any water levels or anything uh, that are kind of fun to play around with? I'd be curious to know what you've created and uh, share them out in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you next time on another video.